My mom and papa were born in 1912 and 1924 in the southern Appalachian Mountains. When Mamaw was a young woman and papa, they had slightly different ways of bathing than we do today. When Mamaw had her children, she had told me how they bathed back then. So they had two wash tubs. One was fairly large. It was big enough that an adult would fit in it, one adult at a time. And all three of her biological children, who were smaller, they could all fit in it at the same time. So once a week, they would go draw water from the creek, and they would fill up the big wash tub, and they would heat the water up. Once the water was heated, they would put the kids in there. And Memo made soap out of animal fat and wood ash, and she would render that down. Sometimes she'd stick some herbs in there to help it smell a little better. And she would help the kids, and they would all get a real good bath. Her and her first husband would also take a bath once a week in the large wash tub. Same way, drawing water, heating it up, and using her homemade soap. Now, you might think that it was just a once a week thing, but that's not true. The once a week was just a full in the tub bath. Washing the hair, washing the whole body. Every single day, they had a wash stand that they would use to do what you might call now a sponge bath. They had a cloth they'd lay on the floor so that any water that got dripped down would land on that. And they would fill a basin with water and they'd have their soap. So they would wash their face, they would wash the rest of the dirty parts of their body, and then they would wash the rest of their body all while standing up next to this wash basin. It was on a stand, and they called it their wash tower. When they needed to wash their hair in between the big baths each week when their hair got dirty, they'd wash it in the wash basin also. So every single day, they bathed. Every single week, they took a full-on submersion bath. As the kids got a little older, they were t tasked with going and drawing the water from the creek. And like I said, they'd heat up the water, and they'd take their bath, usually on the inside, especially in the wintertime next to the fire. They dried off real good and made sure their hair was dry before they went to bed.